are my body until the end. More than a buddy, you're my best friend. I love you more than you will. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Chucky Project. And today, I'm going to review Child's Play 2019, the brand new film just out in theaters. Just got back from the movies. I'm a long time and dedicated fan of the original Child's Play franchise. It's my favorite horror franchise. And there are definitely a couple of downers. I'm not a fan of every film in the franchise, but I love Brad Dorif as Chucky, and I really enjoy the majority of Child's Play films. This one, though, is not your typical Child's Play movie because it's a reboot, a reimagining, a totally new idea and a new place to take this franchise that has gotten to the point where it was straight to DVD for the last couple of movies and now Don Mancini, the original creator, is working on a TV series for that universe. So I'm definitely looking forward to the TV series, but I was also really super excited for this reboot. It is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Yes, you have Mark Hamill now, Luke Skywalker himself, voicing the new Chucky doll, but it's going to be a different storyline, so I'm ready for that. I'm not going to compare it too much to the originals. You have this new doll now that's going to have AI instead of the previous films where it was a human stuck inside the doll because of voodoo. So the film sounds really interesting, and I was definitely pumped up for this movie. How was it? Well, it did not exceed my expectations, but it didn't fall too short either. So it was pretty damn good in a lot of ways, and it was also somewhat disappointing in a lot of other ways. So let's get into it. I'll try to keep this review short and to the point. So let's get into the positives, the new idea, AI. So you can connect this doll to your phone and it can control all types of devices. I thought that was a great idea and a great way to take the child's play name into a different but still really cool direction. And it also made for a creepy, creepy, scary freaking doll. So that was good. Also the kills, the gore, the blood, all that, the creativity in the kills is all up to par. So if you like crazy creative kills in your horror movies, this one has it. It was also tension, there was suspense, there was horror. As much as I love the Child's Play films, there's really only two that were really scary to me. The original Child's Play and then 2013's Curse of Chucky. I thought those were the two scariest. And this one is pretty scary. Maybe not as scary as those two, but this one is pretty freaking scary. And the last of the positives was the acting, which was pretty good across the board. Andy played by Gabriel Bateman, was really good. His mom was good. Mark Hamill, of course, did a really good job with his lines. But, and this kind of segues into my more mixed thoughts, Chucky was not nearly as funny or entertaining as the original. Although that was kind of expected, I did think he would have a bit more personality than he did. But, again, that said, in the context of this film, with the AI aspect, this is not a human inside the doll, so it does make sense that he wouldn't have too much of a personality. Mark Hamill does a good job to bring something to that, and he did start to develop a little bit of a personality, and there was some humor. Mark Hamill had to try to find a more creative way to be funny than the more straightforward version that Brad Dorif did. It was also interesting because this doll was actually genuinely nice at first. I mean, he really did care about Andy. He just didn't have that instinct not to hurt people, especially when hurting them was in his interest. So in other words, I guess he was like a psychopath, a psychopath doll, creepy as hell. When not trying to compare him to the original, he actually really worked well for this film and for what they were going for. The humor in the movie, I'd say was 60% annoying, 20% kind of cute, kind of funny, and 20% actually funny, where I actually laughed. Uh, including one moment it involved Chucky that was genuinely hilarious. I actually laughed out loud. Got to give credit there. But the majority of the humor was, I felt, forced. Kind of that annoying 2019 humor you see in films where everyone has to make cute jokes all the time. You know, I don't really notice that in the real world too much, but I guess that's how people talk, apparently, especially in movies. Typical modern day type movie, got to crack jokes all the time. It wasn't over the top. In fact, there was a moment towards the end where I thought there was gonna be a joke. I was like, oh, here comes the joke, and it didn't happen. And I was like, oh, good. 
Uh, so overall, the humor was okay at best. One really funny moment, but that's about it. As for the negatives, there seemed to be a lot of stereotypical characters in this film. Like there was a checklist they followed when casting and writing this movie. You know, like the mom's jerk boyfriend, the fat and funny friend, the badass girl, the weird fat electrician. I can't really describe it, but there was just a lot of that in this movie. It felt like everyone had their little roles that they played to a T, so much so that it almost felt unnatural. Like, And talking about that fat kid and pretty much all of Andy's friends, the way they got involved, the way how they met Andy, Andy was really weird and rushed and unnatural and weird. It just didn't really make sense, a lot of it. I wasn't a big fan of that whole plot there with, with Andy's friends. The girl was okay for the most part, but yeah, that whole aspect of the film I did not like. And also towards the end, there was these typical cliche moments that were very, very predictable. I've seen them in a million films what's going to happen and you can see it coming and then it happens and that's kind of eye rolling to me but that said the third act had plenty of awesome moments and overall was really well done and there were some little winks and nods to the original movies but nothing over the top so no annoying stupid fan service which i appreciate as well so other than some annoying humor some cliche characters and moments and some predictability i'd say it was a solid reboot you cannot match the original Chucky. Those movies are their own. And the good news is, is that the universe is supposed to continue. That original universe is supposed to continue in this TV series. And now we have this new universe, hopefully, if they make a sequel, which I hope they do. I, I think I'll go see this movie a couple more times. I liked it that much. I mean, it's really fun and a pretty cool movie. I would definitely recommend it. If you're into horror films, I would give this one a watch. It's scary, it's exciting, it's cool, and it's pretty freaking good. And I'd say a lot of the negatives that I mentioned are kind of pet peeves of mine that won't bother a lot of other people. So overall, really good. I'm going to give this Child's Play movie 7.5 out of 10 Chuckies. Okay, thank you so much for checking out my review of Child's Play 2019, the reboot. Let me know in the comments if you saw it, what you thought of it, if you plan to see it, if you give a freak about it. Everyone have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. See ya! I am your buddy until the end More than a buddy I'm your best friend Bye.